Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, okay, my space ones are a little bit crooked. Um, okay, so I thought I would film a sit down Q&A for you guys because basically I haven't done one on my own since I started my YouTube channel. And I feel like that's the most important thing. Um, yeah, I posted a Instagram story asking you guys to ask me some questions. Um, so I have a lot here for you. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to get through them all. Um, so I apologize if you've asked me a question and I haven't been able to answer it. Um, but there are literally hundreds here. So I'm just going to jump straight into it and answer these questions for you. Okay, so first question from Taylor Street. <laughs> when will you have babies? Babies, right. Um, babies probably isn't going to happen for a long time. Um... I, yeah, I'm not ready for that just yet. I mean, look, to be honest, guys, I can barely look after myself, let alone have a baby. So, um, that's probably not on the cards for at least another five years. I know Jake really wants one, um, but he's going to have to wait. Next question from Evie. Did you go to university or college? How did you get into your field of work? Okay. So yes, I went to uni. I did a fashion business degree. Um, that was, I think, three years. Uh, I did that while I was working casually at a boutique in Leaderville, Perth, called Atlas Divine. They sell, like, um, you know, lots of designer stuff and all that, so I loved working there. Um, yeah, so I did two years or three years at uni. Well, I actually can't remember how long it was. But, yeah, um, that didn't get me into what I'm doing now at all. It... it I learned a lot. Um, I have a lot of knowledge from that from that degree, and I will be able to put that to use. Um, but that's not the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm doing what I'm doing because basically I started taking photos and showing my love for fashion and stuff like that when I was really really young, probably about 16. So I, I have been building my Instagram up since I was 16. So. Um, there's a few questions in here as well asking how I became insta famous. Not that I think I'm insta famous, but um, to some I might seem there's no easy way at all. It's taken me 10 years. Um, Slon said he wins the race. Not really at all. That's a lie because I've been doing this for a long fucking time and um, I love it. There's, it's not a job. It's not anything. I, I purely started doing it because I love it. Uh, when I first started Instagram, I had no idea, idea that it could be a job. I literally just was posting photos and somehow people started following me and started liking what I was posting. Um, and then obviously, uh, brands started reaching out to me and yeah, that's how it all started. So like I said, there's no easy way to it. Well, that wasn't for me anyway. Okay, so that brings me into another question that was kind of similar from, uh, okay, I don't know how to pronounce this one, so I'm just not going to, but it says, how do you gain such a large following? Have you had 100K for years? Certainly not. Certainly not. Honestly, it took me so fucking long to get to 10K. Like, I, it's not, it wasn't a fast process for me it's been a really slow, hard working process. So that's why I appreciate you guys so much because I, I, I really have had to work to, to gain the exposure that I have. And, um, like I said, it's not work. I love doing it. I have a passion for it. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's how it all sort of happened and how it stemmed out for me. I know for others, it's been a little bit different, but that's how it panned out for me. Okay. Next question from Naya. Do you ever wear normal day-to-day -day clothes or are you always extra? Love you. Love you too. Uh, fucking oath I wear normal clothes. I literally live in trackies. Like, you guys see this part of me where I'm extra as fuck, where I go out in public. But I also go out in public looking not so extra. Um, like, trackies are life. Like... I literally live in them. And you know what? I have so many clothes, guys, like so many clothes, and I still continue to wear the same fucking trackies and same comfy clothes all the time, even though I have a million of them. I don't know what it is. I just, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, that's my answer to that. Love comfy clothes. Definitely don't look like this all the time. 
Okay, next question from Bella. Favorite online brands? Okay, so you guys know Dakota 501 is my favorite store. They are a brick and mortar store, but they're also online. So um, yeah, they stock amazing brands, so many different brands, really cool stuff. I just love them and I love working with them. And how funny is this? The girl that I work with, that awkward space bun's really not doing things for me, but I'm just gonna leave that. The girl from Dakota 501 that I'm always talking to, her name's Emily Davies. How weird is that? I love it. It's so cool. Next question from Sophie. When did you start getting into such out there kind of style? I love you. I love you too. Um, since I was probably like five years old, I have always been obsessed with crazy clothes. Like, um, I used to wear like dance costumes for fun. I used to wear light up shoes. If you've followed me since fucking back in the day, I used to wear light up shoes. Um, I used to, when my mum was in the shower, I used to go into her wardrobe and I would like pick out an outfit for her for the day and it would be the most extravagant thing ever, like a dress and heels and we're going to the shops or she's taking me to school or something like that. And mum would get out of the shower and she'd be like, Bob, I can't wear that. Like, I can't wear that. And I'd be like, oh, and I'd like start crying and get really upset over it because I just really wanted to dress her and make her look pretty. But like, it was just of, uh, like the most ridiculous outfits. So I just always remember that. But yeah, I've always dressed really, really, really extra. Okay, next question, Tess Wells. If you weren't doing social media as a job, what would you be doing? I would probably be creating my own label or have my own label by now because something I've always wanted to do, something I will eventually do. Okay, next question from Hayley. What are your favorite qualities about Jake? Guys, Jake is great. Jake is so great like oh he's just a little angel fuck he can piss me off but he's a little angel like he's always trying to keep me happy he's always trying to do things that he knows will cheer me up or make my day easier um so there's some of my favorite things like he just really cares about that sort of stuff which is really great and probably the one that outstands them all is his loyalty yeah He's a really loyal person um, and I find that like super attractive in a person like if they're loyal like I will be their friend forever I will do anything for them yeah I have no words if you're loyal and you're loyal to me and you're a good person to me I will fucking bend over backwards for you and Jake is the most loyal person I've ever met he's so loyal to his friends like anyone that is friends with Jake is lucky <laughs> Honestly, he's the best friend. Like, he's a really, really good friend and he will always have your back unless you fuck him over. And I'm the exact same. I have the same morals as him. So I guess that's why we work really well together. Okay, next question from Rachel. What is your biggest challenge you've ever had in life? <laughs> um, definitely losing my mom. But, um, <laughs> oh, fuck. I hell didn't want to answer this question, but I have so many of them <laughs> I like I have a lot of questions about my mom in here um so I thought I should answer at least one my biggest challenge in life was not only losing my mom but um having to look after look after her and see her go downhill so quickly um, my mom was always a really healthy person um, she never ever let me have anything with sugar in it my whole life. She would never give me white bread. She would never let me, uh, yeah, just all that sort of stuff. She was so healthy. She used to exercise every day, eat only whole foods, vegetables, um, all that sort of stuff. So for her to get sick so quickly, um, I, I quit working at Atlas. This was not long after I finished my degree, I quit working at Atlas to become her full-time carer because it was just me and myself living, me, I mean, me and my mum living at home. And yeah, I became her full-time carer. So I was with her every day, all day. And yeah, just basically watched her um, get worse and worse. 
yeah, just basically watched her get worse and worse within a really quick period of time. Um, I've never seen a disease or anything so, so brutal and fast acting. And I don't really know how to, how to explain it. Um, yeah, it was, it was brutal. She was so fine. She was all good. And then all of a sudden it just spread rapidly through her body and she had to go to hospital. And then pretty much from the day she got admitted to hospital two weeks, two weeks later, it just, um, yeah, pretty much spread through her whole body, her bones, her bloodstream really quickly. Um, and each day, um, she was like a different person but to a point where within like two days it spread so fast that it paralyzed her and she couldn't move anymore and then yeah a few days after that me and my dad and my brother were laying next to her and watched her holding her hand and watched her die I mean that's really brutally honest of me to tell you guys and I don't know if that's the right thing for me to do whether I should have told you guys that or been so open about that with you guys but I don't know I like being open and honest with you guys and I always have always will so um this was one of the most asked questions in here stuff about my mum what happened um and how I how I'm still doing what I'm doing and how I coped, have coped without her. So yeah, not only not having her here is the biggest challenge in my life, but seeing that um, was definitely, I would say the biggest challenge in my life was having to leave that hospital room and leave her in there. Yeah, uh, that would definitely be the biggest um and drive home yeah to me that that was that was the biggest challenge i've ever had to face in my life um but yeah that's all i'm going to talk about for that guys <laughs> sorry this isn't meant to be a sad video or a sad vlog at all it's just a kind of like a get to know me thing so i don't want to talk too much about that <laughs> Okay, next question from Amara. How did you become confident with yourself in the first place? Um, I've never really cared too much about what people think. So um, I guess I'm not the best at answering that question. But basically at the end of the day, you are all that matters. Like you purely are all that matters. Um, and the people that you care about. So... If someone doesn't like you for something that you're doing, then you don't need them in your life and you don't need to worry about that. That's pretty much all I have to say. Like, I, if you if you care about every little thing that people say, like, you're just going to be down and upset and always d dwell on it. I don't know. I just, I just don't. I just try to, if I get worked up over something like that, I just try to snap out of it. Think about something that makes me happy. Think about, or you know what I like to do? I like to sit back and I go, look, is this going to matter in a week's time? Is this going to matter to me in two months' time? If not, let it go. Okay, next question from Abby. Wow, this is, this is a different question. Do you believe you will see your mother after you die? Yep. <laughs> Certainly do. I fully believe and all that sort of stuff. Um, this is another thing, guys. Like, I haven't addressed this, but I feel like I, I kind of should because it sort of gets swept under the rug with a lot of, a lot of influences or just a lot of um, social like people bullying. Bullying on social media is so, so wrong, and it's never really looked at in the light that it should. And for for me to be completely honest with you guys right now, basically, I had someone message me a few weeks ago on Instagram saying, kill yourself. So, I'm just going to say that two years ago when my mum died, if you had said to me, if you had to send that message to me back then, yeah, if you had to send that message to me back then, 
I was in a mind space where I could have turned around to that message and gone. I was in a mind space where I could have turned around to that message and gone, okay, I will because then I'll be with my mum because that's honestly what I was thinking at the time. It's, it's such a bad thing and I just think that, especially on social media, before you say something to someone, think about wh whether you would say that to their face and also think about the fact that people have stuff going on that you don't see on social media. I don't know how much words can affect someone, uh, depending on the situation that they're in at the time or what they're going through, words really can really um, get to people. I'm lucky I'm strong-minded and um, I don't let that sort of stuff get to me, but just just be careful what you say to people online, guys, and yeah, just really think it through and think about whether you would say that to her face and think about if you would like someone saying that to you. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say for that question. Sorry, got a bit deep and meaningful there. Okay, next question from Mary. Do you take any supplements? Um, at the moment, I'm taking a few different supplements because I'm have a, having a bit of gut issues. So I take um, ATP Alpha Venus, which is... Uh, to help with your hormones and to get your period back and then I take digestive zymes and probiotics because they help with my gut um, and I also take glutamine in the morning which is just also helps with a, a majority of different things next question Victoria how old are you I'm 23 next question from Talia how do you always stay motiv motivated when it comes to healthy eating and working out I'm not always motivated guys. No one's always motivated. Seriously, like I only train like four days a week. Like I don't I don't have to get up and train every single day to feel good. I don't have to look a certain way to feel good. Put it this way, in my experience, I've been training for a long time and if you have a goal or something you wanna look like, that's fair enough, but don't always look for an end result because you're never going to get there. When I was my leanest, like 13% body fat, really small and just absolutely working myself to the ground, I still thought I was bigger than what I was. You're never going to get... What matters is you're living a healthy, balanced lifestyle that allows you to still do all the things that you want to do and still enjoy life. To enjoy a healthy, balanced lifestyle, um, I think is really important. And instead of constantly searching and looking to, I don't know, feel or look a certain way. Okay, next question from Jess. What's your biggest goal in life that you want to achieve slash will achieve? Create my own brand. I've always wanted to have my own label. I. My brain is just like constantly flooded with ideas and it's really frustrating not being able to create them right now. I just have a lot going on, but it's definitely, definitely a massive goal of mine and I know that I will do it. Like I'm determined. I know that I will do it 100%. Okay, next question from Islan Neil. Sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. How often do you go to the Skin Fairy and how many times have you been since the first visit? Um, I don't know how many times I've been since the first visit. I'm sorry, I've been going to her for about a year now. She's honestly so amazing. I go every six weeks at the moment, sometimes every four weeks. Um, that I, I couldn't recommend them enough. They've just like a lot changed my skin. I never had bad skin though. So, um, I guess that's a good thing, but I really notice a difference when I go to them and their home care and stuff is so great. I just really love them and they're so beautiful, all of them. They're such beautiful girls. So I'm really lucky to be able to go there. Um, and I definitely think that they are worth it for anyone that has really bad skin. I have seen some insane transformations from them. Okay, next question from Burn. How do you cope with any stresses or anxieties you have? Um, I get stressed out really easily. My cortisol levels are always constantly through the roof. Your cortisol level is your stress hormone. So, <clears throat> um, 
yeah, I'm, I'm a really hard worker. So when I know I've got a lot to do, I get really stressed. I get stressed more than anxious. Um, but I find what helps at night time. I actually, every night when I, well, for this last few weeks, when I've been going to bed, I've been playing like uh, anxiety slash stress um, talking, sleeping video thing on YouTube. If I just type in anxiety, stress, sleep, and a whole heap of them come up. Um, and I just listen to that as I'm going to sleep. It helps sort of keep my mind off of things and helps me just relax and unwind and go to sleep. Okay, next question from Liv. What is your favorite healthy meal to cook that's easy and cheap? Pasta. Healthy pasta is the best. It's literally my favorite meal. So my favorite one at the moment is I just get gluten-free pasta and then I get um, tomato paste, soy milk and vegetable stock and I mix that all together and add in like any vegetables or meat, whatever I want and then I just simmer it and it's so yummy and so cheap and dairy-free, gluten-free, all that good stuff. Next question from Lily. Where are your wigs slash hair extensions from? Um, I get most of my wigs off eBay. It's kind of a hit and a miss with them though. Um, yeah, some, some have been really bad. I guess it depends what sort of quality they are. And yeah, but my hair extensions I get from Zala. They're really good. They're really good with hair extensions. Um, the colors always match my hair perfectly and they seem to last a long time. And their shipping is really quick. That's not a plug. That's just me telling you guys I love Zara. Uh, also, apologies if this um, crooked space bun pissed you off the whole video. I probably should have fixed that, but I didn't. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I love you all so much. Like I said, I couldn't be where I am today without you guys um you're all the best and i literally am so fucking grateful for you guys so yeah let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like me to film in the comments below and please give give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you liked my videos and you want to see more love you guys